Hey, Don Copeland here, and uh, I came up with something new to do for this time for the video. We're using the big boy, got the Compress 1200 here, and what we've done is we've taken, these are some doors for a, like a, a cabinet from Ikea, and uh, so Mark, our marketing guy, wanted to repurpose these. I told him I was going to pick on them. These are for his yoga room. He wanted to have a little bit more comforting than just the wooden face to it, and so while he's doing his yoga, he can look over at the lily and be excited about it. Uh, what we did is we did print these with a white underbase and then came back with the full color image over top of it. It's really got a pretty cool effect here. And uh, let me show you here just uh, what we did to get this done. We're going to go ahead and show you here what we did to, to get this graphic and to split it into two pieces. Uh, basically, we brought in a very large graphic into Photoshop and we scaled it based on two times the size of a door so that we knew it would fit. We trimmed that down and we oversize it by about a quarter of an inch uh, in the height and in the width direction, all right, so that we could actually do an overbleed on it. Uh, and then what we've done in here is we've actually created a rectangle here that's a black square, black outline square. As you can see, it's like 23.5 by 25.13 based on the measurements of the actual door itself. Then we brought in an oversize. We've got the left door, all right, which would be the left side, which actually has the flower on it. We've imported it in, and you'll actually see here if I zoom in, I'm able to see, you'll see where I just went a little bit outside of the border of that. Now we calculated for this when we laid in the second one, the right door, which is right here, so that actually when you do it, you have the edges align up so that you don't lose this part right in here. The part that actually starts printing is actually where you want it to print. But we did do a little bit of an overbleed so that we make sure that we get all the way to the edge of the material. So tip what I do initially, turn these layers off as they are, and then I, I print over the outline layer to our rip, which you can see here if we get our single pass here, you'll see that we actually had the outline. We printed it in white. Sorry about that. We printed it in our white outline. So we had that over here. And then we came back and we did the auto white mode right here. We actually printed first, we printed the left side, which as you can see here, I would turn the left door on, turn my outlines off. All right, we printed this over, which is what this file is. Went ahead and printed that. And then we came back, turned off the left door, and turned back on the right door and sent that over, which is what you see right here. So you can see our net cost on the ink between these two jobs uh, was $6.29. And as we mentioned earlier, the doors are about $15 a piece or so if you order them from Ikea. So that would be about $36, $37 total in this. We did some research for this. And uh, it was kind of hard to find anything exactly. We did find some some places on Etsy and whatnot where we were doing customization of doors for cabinets and things like that. And they range anywhere from about $350 to $500 a pair. So even if we go on the low end and say $300 a pair with these, you're looking at $37. Print time on these was in the area of, if you see right here, this is the print time on one door. So comfortably by the time we turn it around. Let's just say it took us just under an hour to print them. So I could turn around a pair an hour on this. Um, and actually, if you wanted to, you actually could have painted the boards white instead of printing them with a UV printer. It would have caught your, your ink cost way back, but it would also save you on print time as well. But let's just say we do a pair an hour and you're making over 275 or so dollars, 260 to $275 per hour printing these custom doors and uh, producing a really, really cool and unique uh, finished product for your customers. You can apply an adhesion promoter to them. Uh, you know, you probably want to get some of this material to test and see, but you can apply a, an adhesion promoter once you have cleaned them down good with isopropyl so that you get a good adhesion. You don't have to worry about the print scratching off. We've got $6.29 worth of ink, and I think we looked up the doors. If you bought the replacement doors, they're like $15 a piece. So let's just say we got $30 into the doors, $7 worth of ink, and about $37 into this whole project. So there you have it. You see what we've printed them. We started out printing our white outline here onto the bed. Then we laid these in each. Uh, it was pretty creative in the way we were able to just move over the artwork to make sure that it kind of flows naturally through. 
And uh, it, it just gives you an idea of, of other areas you can open up with your UV printer. You hook up with interior designers, you hook up with people who are maybe doing showers and things like that. We've had some folks who uh, do uh, backdrops on the back of glass tiles um, so that you can put those into a shower, into a backsplash in a kitchen. Uh, you can print on all kinds of wood items to decorate. You could even do things that are kind of more rustic. You could take uh, wooden doors and actually put things on them, make them look more antiqued and whatnot. But a lot of opportunities outside of our standard, you know, signage type of things and whatnot that we typically do. So I think it's a great way that you can extend the range of your actual clientele by hooking up and going outside of the, the normal bounds of a typical sign shop type of or trophy awards type of shop and uh, maybe find some new clients out there that have applications and on top of that doing things like this they may have need for signage and stuff. If you think if you're working with interior designers or people who are in construction who are doing re remodels and things like that they need stuff like this but they also need the core blast signs for out front telling you who's there, what kind of work they're doing, how to contact them as well and maybe some of their their information about whether they're certified or what not to do what they're doing. So uh, just, just another great way to take your Compress uh, 600 I mean, 1200 S and, and, and make some money because this is a really big size. These are 24 by 26. You're not going to fit this on most standard UV printers, but it fits real nicely right here onto the bed of the Compress 1200 S. I'm Don Copeland. Thanks for watching.